Introducing the latest findings from the China Cybersecurity Review Office, it has been determined that Micron's products exhibit noteworthy cybersecurity weaknesses. So, if you don't want to miss any of these details, keep watching the video. Micron products face comprehensive cybersecurity review in China. The State Internet Information Office of China has recently announced that Micron's products will face a thorough cybersecurity review due to the country's new export regulations on chip manufacturing technologies. This statement, delivered at the end of March, is consistent with the Internet Security Review measures announced earlier this year. Micron's devices, which have been on the Chinese market for some time, are undergoing a stringent security audit. After months of investigation, Micron's devices were found to have critical potential network security flaws. These vulnerabilities pose a significant security risk to the supply chain of China's critical information infrastructure. In light of these findings, the Office of Cybersecurity Review has taken appropriate action to protect China's national security. China urges caution for critical information infrastructure. The Cybersecurity Review Office announced that Micron Goods did not pass the network security review as mandated by the network security law and other relevant legislation. Therefore, it is imperative that the administrators of China's important information infrastructure stop purchasing items from Micron. To avoid any network security issues that could threaten the security of the nation's vital information infrastructure, the Cybersecurity Review Office stresses the importance of undertaking an internet security review for Micron products. This precaution is seen as necessary for the sake of national security. As long as they follow the rules, enterprises worldwide are welcome to set up shop in China and offer a wide range of platform-based goods and services. As a result, Micron goods can be sold in China individually. Instead, Micron products should be used by the cautious managers of China's crucial information infrastructure. China's critical information infrastructure operators urged to halt Micron product purchases. All operators of China's critical information infrastructure, including but not limited to government agencies, state-owned enterprises, and essential suppliers of finance, insurance, securities, telecommunications, electricity, and education, must immediately cease purchasing Micron products. This choice will affect businesses like cloud providers, server makers, and telecom companies. Chinese manufacturers need to reduce risks and get access to the critical information infrastructure sector, even though the official disciplinary measures from China may not have the same comprehensive impact as a complete ban on sales as first anticipated by external sources. Exploring alternatives as Micron faces competition in memory market in light of the circumstances, purchasing memory products from alternative vendors are unavoidable. For the fourth quarter of 2022, Micron's share of the NAND flash market was 10.7%, placing it behind Samsung 33.8%, Kioxia 19.1%, SK Hynix 17.1%, and Western Digital 16.1%. Micron held a 23% share of the DRAM market, second only to Samsung at 45.1%, followed by SK Hynix at 27%. According to additional data, Yangche River Storage or Changxin Storage, which represents Chinese domestic memory chip manufacturers, accounts for approximately 4.6% of the global memory chip market, NAND plus DRAM. According to Micron's financial report for fiscal year 2022, its sales in China totaled about $3.3 billion. Longqiang Memory or Biwin Storage and other suppliers accounted for approximately 10.7% of Micron's wafer sales. If Micron were replaced entirely in China, Samsung, SK Hynix, and YMTC would be the primary beneficiaries. Opportunities and Challenges for China's Memory Device Manufacturers China's memory device manufacturers, such as Changxian Storage, will profit from a $3.3 billion industry. However, according to the Financial Times, the United States is limiting the sales of American memory chip manufacturers in China. In addition, the United States is lobbying the government of South Korea to prevent Samsung and SK Hynix from filling voids in China's market. 
Chinese memory manufacturers could benefit if Samsung and SK Hynix adhere to these guidelines. To survive, Samsung and SK Hynix must take advantage of the current decline in the memory chip market. The production capacity and market share of China's native memory chip manufacturers are currently minimal. In addition, their growth strategies have been affected by the newly enacted U.S. regulations. Therefore, it may be challenging for Chinese memory chip manufacturers to capture the entire market vacated by Micron. Micron and Zhang Balong are the two leading manufacturers of memory semiconductor modules in China. Bwin's Dependence Shift Bwin relies heavily on Zhang Balong as a supplier of memory wafers, approximately 34.83%, 37.52% and 33.52% of long C's total purchases in 2019, 2020, and 2021 were memory wafers from Micron Technology. The three-year total expenditures exceeded RMB 7.7 .7 billion, but starting in 2022, long C's began to increasing its reliance on Chinese-made memory chips while bolstering its dependence on other vendors. Because of this incident, long C's no longer ranks Micron among its top three suppliers. Bwin Storage's Supplier Landscape Memory chips and wafers were supplied by Micron Technology to Bwin Storage throughout 2019 to 2022, about 24.23%, 33.57%, 27.63%, and 22.16% of Bwin's total expenditures on memory wafers and chips during the past 3.5 years have come from Micron. Throughout the three and a half year period, about 1.97 billion RMB was spent on purchases. Since the end of March, there may have been developments or changes with Bwin suppliers, but this needs to be represented in the now available data. Stock surge for competitors in automotive industry transformation Despite generating $30.8 billion in revenue last year, with approximately 10% coming from China, a significant portion of Micron's product sales in China are to foreign manufacturers. Uncertain is the prospective impact of the China Internet Security Review Office's decision on these international buyers. Reuters reports that share of South Korean companies Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix have risen in response to the news that Micron Technology failed to receive China's security certification. Samsung stock increased by 0.7%, while SK Hynix's rose by 1%. Similarly, the shares of several Chinese companies that manufacture memory chips such as Giga Device Innovation, Beijing Junsheng, and Deep Technology increased by between 3 and 8%. Emerging technologies such as autopilot, electrification, smart cockpit, internet of vehicles, and regional architecture are transforming the automotive industry despite the current deficit in consumer electronics, with onboard memory playing a crucial role. Micron forecasts that by the year 2025. And that completes our video for today. We hope you enjoyed learning the latest findings from the China Cyber Security Review Office. Which of them are you most intrigued about? Tell us in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to Tech Bros for more content such as this.